this is Dr. Judah with your 14th tip in this series on women new to leading. And the 14th tip is around overcaring, overcaring so much that it drains you and you're finding that you're spending so much time with your employees that results in you're not getting your work done or you're finding that employees are bringing things to you but you're not listening or in helping them because you have all these other individuals that are coming to you with their personal problem. At some level, they know that you're compassionate, but our compassion needs to be also with an awareness that you have other employees that you're working with. And that when we move to overcare, that means we're overextending ourselves and our feeling needs, which can also lead to us feeling more kind of ruffled, not getting enough sleep, or finding that we're moving towards acute levels of burnout because we're finding that we're trying to get a lot done after the hours of our work because we're spending so much time during the work time with our employees. So that's the problem. Our sympathy needs to move into empathy. And the empathy is, is that you can stay on the sidelines, see what's going on in the ocean that's going on with this particular employee or employees, but not try to dive into that water uh, that you may not need to dive into at all in your role and, and also drain you. And also you're in the rapids with that particular employee or you're being pulled under the undercurrents with that particular employee or employee issues. So instead, lead with compassion with boundaries. Lead with, I can compassionate see that these particular issues that are personal to the employee, but also be aware of the fact that you have other resources within that institution, organization, or within the department that can be able to support and help you in your leading of these employees that may have concerns. And you can ask HR about resources that are available for your employees, or you may know of resources so that you can connect them with the appropriate resource to help them so that they can be able to get the help they need and that you can continue to lead in your capacity. Because one of the other things that happens sometimes when we spend so much time with employee issues, personal issues that are going on for them, the employees that are within that work team or group may feel as if you're having favoritism or you're showing favoritism to certain employees. And that also may create dissension within the team or the group that you're managing or supervising or overseeing. So lead more with compassion, with boundaries, and show your compassion, show your understanding, but don't dive into the ocean with them and get that undercurrent, as I was talking about earlier, trapped into the rapids, if it's a river <laughs> that you're diving into. So what about your thoughts about leading with employees that may have some concerns that are going on for them, but how do you hold them accountable and how do you show compassion that you're trying to work with them, but they, as well as the other employees in your group, need to get their work complete and done in a timely manner. This is Dr. Judith with your 14th tip, uniquepathwayscoaching.com. Look forward to hearing your thoughts. Take care. Bye for now.